Hey guys, it's the Fort Worth Clock Guy, and I wanted to share with you this Victorinox Evo Grip 16. And this is modeled after the Wenger version of this, the also known as the Evo Grip 16. It's an 85 millimeter uh, knife, and this is, as you can see, it's got the Victorinox logo on there. This is exactly the same version that the uh, Wenger company produced but it's got a few of the Victorinox uh, implements on here. So as you can see, it's got the standard toothpick and tweezers and split ring. And what makes this the Evo Grip 16 is the Phillips driver. The Evo Grip 14, I believe uh, it is, has the corkscrew. So if you'd rather have the corkscrew, you can get this exact same model with um, the corkscrew rather than the Phillips driver. It also has a all slash punch with the sewing eye and this is where it kind of becomes the Frankenstein so we'll start with the opening layer so the opening layer it does come with the Victorinox uh, can opening tool so instead of the Wenger like hook opening tool it's got the Wenger or the Victorinox on this side it has the can opener and flathead, and this does come from the uh, Wenger uh, tool. When you push in on this, it actually kind of recesses into, I don't know if you can see it moving there, it actually recesses into the liner, which makes it lock into place. So if you're putting pressure on it and you know uh, tightening something, it's not gonna fold down on you. It does not have a half stop on there, but I believe you know if you're, if you're putting any kind of pressure on here, it's gonna lock into place and you're gonna be safe anyways. Um, the next tool is the scissors. And you can, as you can see, this is most definitely modeled after the Wenger version because it's got the integrated spring, which I actually kind of prefer. And as you can see, if it'll focus, it does have the self sharpening blades on there so it's got a little bit of a texture there and I prefer these scissors over the the standard Victorinox I just feel like they're a little bit sturdier um, the next thing is the blade and as you can see this blade is just slightly different than the standard Victorinox so there's a little bit more belly to it so this is more reminiscent of the uh, Wenger version of the blade does give you a little bit more of a cutting edge because there's more of a swoop there. And the last thing on here is just a little nail file. And this is the only part of the tool that I think they kind of missed on because I really do like this. Um, as you can see on this side of the tool, they're using the uh, only about two-thirds of the implement for the nail file and on this side there's absolutely nothing there so this would have been a uh, perfect opportunity for them to put like a nail file on this entire side and maybe left this side blank I'm not really sure why they did that I don't know if it had to do with maybe uh, rubbing against the blade and that was an issue and they didn't want to scrape um, have the the rough surface riding against the blade. I guess that could be the reason why. Um, or if they maybe just textured it around the nail file, I'm not sure. Um, this is the only thing that I think is a little bit weird. Otherwise, if you could only carry one knife, or if you only wanted to carry one knife, I think this would be a, an excellent uh, choice. I think it's just, it's been a joy for me to carry. I've, I've been carrying it for about two to three weeks now and I've really enjoyed this uh, little Victorinox. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the grips because I thought you know on first impression I just thought maybe they were glued on but they are inlaid so there is no chance of them actually you know coming off or peeling off because they come from underneath not they're not glued on top so and as you can see I mean it is a rubber rubberized texture and it is very effective. I mean, it is very grippy and it's actually very comfortable too. 
Um, you know, it, it's almost gel-like, even though it's not. there's not gel on there. So here's the other side, just so you can kind of get a, an idea of what it is. And like I said, it's the 85 millimeter, which is a, a, a Wenger size. You know, it's not the Victorinox, because Victorinox is typically 84. So, but not that you're really going to notice that big of a difference. This is perfect to just fit in your little um, coin pocket on on your jeans if you choose to carry it that way. It is a three layer knife, so it's a little bit thicker, but that is okay. I think it's perfect for all the implements that you get. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Fourth Clock Guy, out.